Hey guys, I think it's human nature to always be looking for something a little bit better. We're always looking for that rainbow, that pot of gold, that greener pasture. Uh, well, and, and we do the same thing. We're always looking for better tools. And so for years I've been looking for a way to, uh, a better dimple pick. And there's a lot of them out there and there's a lot of really bad ones out there. A lot of Chinese that uh, they break and they twist and they don't have the right tools and so I got fed up with it and I, I decided to make my own set and here's what I ended up with and spent a lot of time and I'm, I was pretty happy with these until I decided to start looking into multi-locks. I saw Kokomo lock picking multi-locks. I call them Coco locks because they're so difficult only he can open them and he made it look so easy and he was using another set of tools that just made me start to drool and of course we all know that it's not the skill, the incredible skill that Coco has. It's 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 the tools, right? I mean, well, we know he uses alien technology and takes advantage of that. Things that you and I don't have access to. But I also saw him using some Sauber tools, and he even said it in videos a couple of times. So I thought, well, if he's using it, maybe I ought to try it. It must be good stuff. And so I ordered a set. And this is what you get when you when they come in the mail. Now, it's got a nice little case. Everything fits inside of there very neatly. And then these are the different tools, and I'll very quickly go over them one by one. And I want to tell you, I have not modified these. Uh, I've been using them for probably two, maybe three months. Uh, I want to. I like to get to know the tools before I start doing any mods to them, so I don't make any mistakes. They are, um, they are available on the internet. They are a little bit restricted, but they're becoming more and more available. And I haven't seen anybody really review these things. So before you invest uh, a significant amount of money in a pick set, I thought you'd like to know a little bit more about it so you can make an informed decision. Uh, I will tell you they, the cost, depending on where you order them from, is between $80 and $100. And you guys in the UK, you are very lucky. This is a UK company. And so you're probably much more familiar with these than than us uh, here in the States. Uh, these are designed just for dimple locks, uh, which I'm getting more and more into, especially multi-locks. And uh, let me go over these a little bit one by one. Now, first of all, in addition to this, this is one of the few picks that uh, they actually send you some pretty good, pretty good instructions. And uh, I'll, I'll talk about those in a minute. But in terms of basic instructions, they give you some really good suggestions uh, to get you off to a flying start. And it's quite helpful when you're picking multi-locks. You get a complete set of tension tools. You have the one, uh, untwisted or normal. We've got a long and a short end. And then, then you got twisted, long and a short end. You have uh, a pick designed to pick uh, to attack the inner pin on multi-locks. You have the same width, except this one is a little bit curved. I don't know how much uh, how you're going to be able to see that in the camera, um, if it'll focus even. But there's a slight curve to allow you to attack those deeper set pins. Uh, this is an interesting tool. Uh, let me get a get a piece of paper up here so you can see it. Um, get the zoom there. It has a little V cut in the end, and this is designed to cut to attack the outer pins, but not the inner pin of multi lock. So that's quite a useful tool. And then, of course, we have the standard larger flag. Looks something like this. So uh, I've used all of these, like I said, I have not modified them, but uh, this is probably one that I will modify because of the, the width of the flag. It seems that when I attack pins, it's just a little bit too wide and it's hard to attack one at a time. So I might shave a little off of there, uh, but that's the only modification so far. And then there's a, a multi-purpose, and this is really the go-to. Let me move this case out of the way so you can get a little better contrast. This is the perfect tool. Uh, you have everything you need to attack a multi-lock, in my opinion, but I'm not good at it yet. Uh, you have the outer flag. Again, I might thin him down, and he's identical. These two flags are identical, so it's a duplicate tool, a backup. And then on the other end, you have the pick to design, designed to attack the inner pin. Again, it's a duplicate, so uh, you got this is a my go-to tool. This is the most commonly reached for. Uh, pretty good kit as from my uh, experience so far. Limited experience, I'll admit it. So that's all the good stuff. They're light. I like the handles. They're very, very good size. They're not perfectly round. So when you rotate it, you have an, ide uh, an idea of how much you're rotating it. A perfectly round one, like on the kit that you know I manufactured, they're perfectly round. So I have no idea where I am. And in hindsight, this is a better, this is a better design. 
Now in the instructions, uh, I noticed my paper was getting stuck a lot. And so I went back to the instructions, and in there they say that they've gone to the trouble to chamfer the edge of the pick so that it's like a sled. It's rounded on one end, so when it rides over those pins, it slides through very easily. So after I'd used it for a little while, I thought, man, I'm getting stuck a lot. So, and, and I even saw Coco getting stuck a couple of times. And so I closely examined all of my picks, and I found out that none of them have that chamfered edge. They're all squared off. Uh, so I don't know if my pick set, uh, if they skipped that step during production, or if they just don't do it. Uh, for the kind of money, I would have hoped that they would have done at least what they said in, uh, in their instructions. The other thing is uh, the edges, typical of all new picks, you can still, they're a little bit rough. You can actually hear it. And that's, uh, you know, that's laser etching. I understand that. But again, for, you know, for $80 to $100, that's a lot of money. I would think that they could take a little time and smooth it out for us just a little bit. But it doesn't take that long. I mean, it, you can probably sand this and get everything perfect with the, to include the chamfering, which I intend to do within 30 minutes you can probably be done. So that's a small, that's a small gripe. Overall I'm very happy with this pick set. I think you will be too for the money. You don't need a, a lot of complex stuff and this really fills the, uh, the needs to pick pretty much any dimple lock so far. Uh, I would like to see a rake in there uh, to at least help me get a fault set but you know I've got plenty of rakes in my other kit so I'm just going to throw one of those in and then I have the perfect portable dimple lock kit. Anyway, hey, thank you for your time. Uh, everybody stay safe and uh, stay legal.